Arrays are handy data structures that allow us to manipulate objects of the same type using only one reference variable. And so what I want to do first is to create an array of size 5. And let's make this an integer array. So instead of just simply typing int like we would for an integer, we would also follow this with square brackets, saying that we not only want an integer, but an integer array. And so let's call this an array for simplicity. And what comes after the equal sign is the keyword new and int array square brackets. And the size of the array now goes in here. So we'll put in five there. Now, by default, all of the integers in this array will be zero. And so if you don't want the integers to all be zero, then you can manually change them by going into int array and changing the items at each position. So since this is an array of size five, we're going to start from index zero, which means that each integer in this array will be associated with an index. The indices will start from zero and go up to four, because in total that gives us 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, which gives us a total of 5 indices. So if we want to get the first array component, then we actually have to do int array sub 0. That's how this is pronounced. And so we can set that equal to any number that we want. So we can say 2, and you can just go in and change all of the variables like that if you want, but you can see how this can get tedious if you have an array of a large size. So what we can do instead is use an initializer list. So instead of doing all of this, we can actually use curly braces and say specifically what we want at the time of initialization. Let's create another integer array in array two, and instead of putting in new int square bracket five, we can just put in the numbers right then and there. And it will also automatically count how many we put in. So this already knows that we have an integer array of size four. So this will be at index zero, index one, index two, and index three. So basically your highest index will be the number of items in your array minus one. So the last thing that we're going to do in this video is go through the array and print out each item in the array. We can do this using a simple for loop, which would be for int i is equal to zero, i is less than the array dot length, so int array dot length, and i plus plus. So let's copy and paste this down here so we don't get that error. And now we can system out print each of the array components. So int array sub i. So it's going to go through each of the indices starting at index zero up until the length minus one, which is why we have a less than sign here. And then it's going to print whatever is at that index. So what we'll expect it to say is two, two, and then three zeros because remember the rest of the integers are still zero since we didn't set them equal to a specific number. And here we have two, two, zero, zero, zero. Perfect. Let's see what happens when we print out array two instead. So int array two, and let's change that as well. And so it's going to print three, five, two, four, like we've said here. We can also use a for each loop instead of a regular for loop. And so the for each loop has a different kind of syntax than the for loop, but it can accomplish the same exact thing. So instead of doing these three parts separated by semicolons, we can just have for each integer and you can give it a dummy name like i in, so the colon here is basically in the int array, print out i. Now you can kind of tell how it got its name. So for each integer called i in array, in array two, we're going to print out i. So instead of using the indices, we're actually using the integers themselves and printing them out. So now when we print this, actually, let me get rid of this first by commenting it out and let's run it. So as you can see, it printed out the same exact thing. 
What's really interesting is that you can also have arrays of arrays, and that's going to be what's known as matrices or two-dimensional arrays, and we're going to be looking over that in the next video.